ever since I um, read Alice in Wonderland and looked at the illustrations by Sir John Tenniel, uh, I've been obsessed by the character of the White Rabbit. And so when I came to illustrate Lewis Carroll's wonderful classic children's book, possibly the first modern children's book, I um, was rather worried, in a sense, about drawing my own version of the White Rabbit, because I'd studied Tenniel's illustration so carefully for so many years, and I'd, I'd copied the way that Tenniel had given his White Rabbit, his wonderful personality, something about the way that he managed to draw the, the eyes and the angle of the head and the whiskers and that slight worried look in the rabbit's eyes fascinated me and I, I drew it time and time again and so when I came to draw my own version I was very mindful of the fact that I wanted to both pay homage to Tenniel's drawing and character at the same time try and create something that was more unique to to me and I'm just attempting to draw this well-known figure in his frock coat appearing one lazy sunny afternoon, quite by chance, out of the hedgerow, and walking past Alice, who initially is not um, surprised to see a white rabbit in a frock coat, and she takes a little moment to actually realise how extraordinary this sight is, and not only has she never seen a rabbit in a waistcoat with a waistcoat pocket but also she realises she's never seen a rabbit with a pocket watch in that waistcoat pocket and of course that piques her interest and so she follows the rabbit down the rabbit hole and the wonderful adventure in Wonderland begins. I'm going to give the rabbit his umbrella. In case it rains, wherever he's going. His rather dainty feet. Here he is, about to go down the rabbit hole with Alice close behind.